Now we're cooking with the uh, gas, as they used to say. Yep. What, what does that mean? <laughs> I, I, I relate it to a gas stove. Well, yeah. But I just I wonder where did how'd that come about? This is one of those old timey sayings. Now you're yeah. cooking with gas. I said, like, Oh, who made that one up? <laughs> anyway. Okay. So welcome to Ladies Who Question. This is a very special edition of post Olympic opening ceremony festivities. Right? Yes. Isn't that what we're doing? Yes. It is. And you saw most uh, of it. Yeah, you saw But you a saw lot. the whole thing. Well <laughs> But you saw the whole thing. And um, I saw three quarters. I took notes. You enjoyed. Yeah. But you remember a lot. You have a photographic memory, so. Mm, I don't, but oh, I was a, it was a little hazy, you know. That's okay. It was a, it was a Sauvignon a... Blanc haze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll remember what I can, and maybe you'll trigger memories that are in there that I just don't know about. I will definitely trigger, because you have a great memory, so. Well, how about just an initial reaction, mine, from what I... Wow. I didn't quite finish it, so there might be another follow up, but I could not even believe it. It, I know. it was there they had so much going on. A spectacle, really. It was. But it didn't I, end. I, I, I enjoyed the entertainment. I really did. Yeah. I thought it was I couldn't even believe it. I can't wait to finish the whole entire rest of it. Yeah. So I think we should start off. Well, I'll start off where I think it's pretty much the beginning, and I have a few statistics. Okay, because I missed the beginning. Okay. I missed Celine Dion. Oh, well, that wasn't at the beginning. Okay, well, I still missed her somehow. Okay, well, I missed her too because I didn't quite get that far. But here's a few stats. We've got 590 uh, athletes from the U.S., and there's 206 countries. I just thought I'd write that down because you kind of figure out, oh, how many people do they have? You know, you see a few poor countries going down the river in a small boat with five people. But the very opener, I was very disturbed by. And well, I will tell that? you. Well, it's it's not really has anything to do with the opener. It has something to do with the commentators. So they had a very, I forgot his name, but he was excellent. He was, he was a sports commentator. He sat in the middle. Oh, Mike Tirico. Mark Tirico. Oh, I Mike. thought, Mike, yeah. he's I wonderful. thought he was wonderful. Oh, he I is. I completely lost it with Kelly Clarkston, she had no business being there. I didn't understand that either. She, it makes no sense to me. And then there was um, Peyton, Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. He's football. He's a winter sport. He's never been in the Olympics. Yes, he's hired by NBC. He's a commentator. But I felt like they should have had somebody that was closer to the Olympics that might have been in the Olympics that's a sports announcer, not him. That's a fair point. So that annoyed me kind of the whole time. Because <laughs> how I saw it was, well, yeah, Peyton Manning was polished and professional, but he didn't know a lot about the athletes where Mike knew all his statistics. He knew what was going on. He could name the players. He was on it. He has encyclopedic knowledge for oh, sure. He's excellent. Yeah. Kelly Clarkson had no clue. She would interrupt and say, hey, there's Poland. Well, Mike is commentating. I noticed it throughout the whole night. And hey, y'all, and just weird comments. She knew no facts. She had nothing to contribute. So I asked my husband, I said, what is going on? He goes, oh, no, she has, she's a talk show host, and she brings in a certain crowd. I didn't buy that. Oh, I don't know. I think he has a point. Okay. Yeah, because she has a very successful daytime talk show. She does. Mm -hmm. And... They're going to watch the Olympics just to watch her. I, okay. I think he might have a point. Oh, I mean, okay. they're not going to stay with it if they don't like it, mm -hmm. but she does have a devoted following. She does. And uh, maybe they were trying to add that sector yeah. to be more serious about watching the Olympics because she's commentating. Right. And it's NBC and her, her talk show is on NBC. Mm -hmm. Right. So that that set me off a little foul at the beginning. Yeah. No, I understand. I, I, I stopped paying attention to her and some of the commentating mm -hmm. be <laughs> somebody what is somebody you couldn't be hungry i just fed you honey that's like a low moan oh it, <laughs> okay it, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness excuse us we, sorry that's not yeah. us that's the dog under the table anyway i did not care for her at all. I okay. completely I'm concur. so glad you agree. Oh, okay. yeah. I, I didn't think she was bringing anything to the table, no. and, and that's why, to me, that makes sense. I think Tom's on the right track. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll tell him that. 
So as we began, there was, I can't even remember the exact, oh, the first thing I remember is showing the bridge with the the um the smoke of oh, the colors the red of, white blue of the french flag yeah and that was that alone was just ah uh, I, I was agog with that i was yeah, yeah. And i thought wow that's pretty cool and plus it's not in a stadium that we're used to it was just open space of an entire city that they were mm-hmm. utilizing the entire space of the city. Yes. And it, it just was, wow. So, In the most creative of ways, too, I would say. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh, I mean, how they, yes. the dancing, the dancing on Notre Dame. Oh, we, on the scaffolding. On the scaffolding. I died. Oh, oh, I thought I was going to lose it. I was so scared, but uh, they were tethered, right. but, ah. Uh. Uh. How but it was so appropriate. The women in the park. Oh, I think they the were women in. Uh, on this, the, I don't know if they're stilts or. I don't know if it was Luxembourg Gardens or where, where they were, Jardin de Tuileries, but they were, they were, yeah, well, they were on some kind of. I don't even know how they like did that. Like a bendy. They were, they were, yeah, they were waving chair. back and forth on really high up, higher than a regular stilt, all dressed in. But they had to be seated. They were probably seated and strapped yeah. in. Oh, for sure. I mean, the. The um, well, the theatricals, but it's not even that, it's almost like what they were doing was crazy. <laughs> How did they not just barf their brains out oh. with the way it was going back and forth like that? Exactly, I mean, the motion sickness alone was kind of getting to me, and I'm watching them, right? There, how many? There were like eight, like yeah, two at rows, least eight, yeah, or four or mm-hmm. something. I, I, I'm surprised they didn't hit each other, crack each other in the, the I head. I know, bump right? into each other. Yeah. So let's just kind of go down our favorite yeah. parts and yeah. and comment. I mean, these might not be in order. Oh, it's okay. I, I mean, think we're I, already kind of all over the I map. I tried to, yeah, I think we are. That's yeah. why I said, you know what, Sorry. forget it. We're just going to go with stuff. Uh, <laughs> we'll try to get us back on track because okay. I know you took copious notes. Interestingly enough, uh, so there were quite a few celebrities there on the red, what they call the red carpet. There was Tom Cruise, Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, I have a few more written down, and, and that there was a reason for this for them being to be there. Yeah, and I'll tell you oh. why because I learned about it, and it was so obvious, but I didn't see it. Ariana Grande, Helen Mirren, and these are ones that I looked up after. To Helen see. Mirren. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, and well, Lady Gaga sang a beautiful song. And I she did, did a hear beautiful that beautiful French number with. The pink feathers and the white feathers, and she and she sang in France. Yeah, in French, French. <laughs> she sang in French. Now, the reason being is, coincidentally, all of these people are releasing movies, which I did oh. not know. Oh. And of course. after with the commercials, right after were their movies, which I didn't pay attention to because I I skimmed through and I learned that this morning when I talked to my friend Carrie, and she's like, "Oh yeah, you didn't know that? Didn't you see the commercials? They were advertising the movies." Well, duh. Well, that does make okay. sense. I mean, why not get mm-hmm. a get a mm-hmm. shameless plug in while the world is watching? And they said the same with Gaga that she's got a movie coming out. I go, oh, oh I thought okay, so that kind of made sense. Mm-hmm. So, but that was an interesting side note. Well, I love the outfits because they're they're consistent every year of the Ralph Lauren. The oh, you tor- mean the U.S. Yeah, uniforms? Yeah, the yeah. uniforms. They were yeah, they were they're really fun. sharp. Of uh, the torch guy. Oh. That Jumping was, across wow. the roofs the of the rooftops and oh, the, the the man carrying the torch from Les Mis. I yeah, I mm-hmm. guess yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And he had a he had a, like a white piece of fabric over his face, so you couldn't see him. You I'm couldn't. sure he could see. Well, <laughs> one would hope. <laughs> Do you think that was filmed? Some of it, I think, was definitely not filmed that live because because it didn't look rainy. I'm, no, yeah. but also like the Louvre. Mm-hmm. Do you remember oh, that? Oh, yes. Oh, that was spectacular yes. where the artwork itself was animated. Yes. But it looked like it was the real artwork in the museum. Uh-huh. And then they had the eye, eyes move to watch mm-hmm. as, he, as he moved. Yeah. And the statue turned yeah. his head. <laughs> so remember at the end of that scene where all these people run to the window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go, well, what was that about? And Tom said... They jumped out of the paintings, and move, and I go, oh, that's why it looked kind of that. animated. It was an animated thing, and they were dressed in their old school outfits from the artwork, and they jumped out of the paintings and ran to the window to see what all the commotion was going on outside. Holy smoke! I was like, oh, that's what that was going. Wow, that's cool. I must have missed that part. Okay, 
Darn. Um, I taped it, just in case. Uh, That's so, everything was so creative. It, was Steven Spielberg involved with this? I think he produced it. I kept hearing okay. about that because it seems like he had to have. It was just, it was magical. It was yeah. animated. It was, they didn't miss a thing. No. And mm-hmm. they highlighted every spectacular venue in Paris. Don't you think? I I, think I don't think they, they did. missed anything. No, I think they got them. I, they got the big ones. There's okay. Did you notice the refugee team mm. on the boats that were going down the river? I took notes. Um, there's a refugee team of like people from Syria. They named the countries, and I thought, my God, where do they even train? Because these are like war torn countries that have a, that don't. These people don't have a home, so they're they have a refugee team. So they're all different countries on the same boat, but they're all refugees because of the wars. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I think there's about 18. They look like they were mostly, they just look mostly Middle Eastern Mm -hmm. from that part of the world. Right. But my heart just went, wow. I'm amazed and overjoyed that they were allowed the opportunity to even do that. And that they had the motivation and you know, let's do it. I wonder uh, where they were keeping in shape. I, where, where, I wonder, wow. I know. Maybe they just fled the country or somehow their respective countries and got out and then they were taken under the wing of who knows. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Interesting, Holly. So I wonder if they win, what country they will be standing up for. Well, their it country. Was, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, their the home country. Their home country. Oh, okay. Yeah, their okay. home country. I see. Yeah, there was one a couple of countries that I've never heard of. Oh. And the one that I keep remembering is Eritrea or oh, something I, like that. Oh, I, oh, wow. And I went, what? I know. It's like we have to look, go back and look them up on a map. Yeah, like six people. And I, I went, Eritrea? And I don't remember what they were I there for. Did, but, I wrote some down, but I oh, didn't write Eritrea down. Well, that one... I could not oh. forget. Well, wh- which ones did you? Andorra, write down? Andorra. Where is it's it? It's near Monaco, and it's um. And remember, in not Dallas. Yeah, yeah. I was in in Dallas. One of those soaps, those evening soaps mm-hmm. from the eighties. Okay. What's her name? She was like from Andorra, or whenever they want to oh. make it sound really exotic. Oh, from Andorra. Okay. And maybe that one too. The um. Wasn't she also like Andorra or something? The the movie where Julie Andrews is the queen and she comes and she's got to find um, that other that extra uh, um, Anne Hathaway. Anne Hathaway. Yeah, wasn't that Andorra too, or was that a different might, one? You know, or that I was think a made I've up heard country. of that in a couple of movies yeah. like that. Yeah, and okay. it sounds exotic. It does. Yeah, Andorra. I thought they made it up no. in the movie. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. Well, maybe the movie one's made up, but. What about what that else? country? I can't even pronounce it. Azerbaijan? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, What's that? That's, God, you are so smart. There's uh, Soviet, uh, near Russia. Okay. Well, they were new I'm, ones to me. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty sure Azerbaijan. Yeah, I, I'll double check that, but that, yeah. I think that's another one that he wants to get his hands on. And you, what was the country that you were unsure about? Uh, like Eritrea or something like that. Eritrea. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go look at all the countries that are in the Olympics and yeah. highlight the ones that are foreign to me. Yeah, the nation and former Soviet Republic. Oh, that's Az- Azerbaijan. Az- is bounded Azerbaijan. by the Caspian Sea and Caucasus oh, Mountains, okay. which Span Asia. Yeah, got it. Okay, this goes back to Gaga. What did you think of that feather on her head? Why can't remember I remember? It, it was kind of weird. It was this little stalk of oh, black, that's and right. it was like. It was kind of weird. I know her thing was feathers, but I just wrote it down because I thought it was funny looking. What do you think was representative of something that mm. had to do with her costume? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was a costume. It was mm. just weird. Okay. Um, oh, nobody. Okay. Normally, well, I think this is normal because we always wait for the U.S. All the countries are alphabetical when they came into the stadium before. Mm-hmm. This year, they were just like. It was higgledy-piggledy. Yeah, yeah. it was higgledy-piggledy. Yeah. I, I, I noticed that. It's like, oh, you're late. We'll get on that boat. Oh, you're early. You go on that <laughs> boat, even though you're a Z. I, I just couldn't yeah. figure out any kind of plan. I wonder who was on purpose. 
they just like we're mixing everything up, so yeah. we're going to mix this up too. Maybe it was. I, yeah. yeah, I don't know. So and don't, it also may have had to do with security too. Who knows? Speaking of security, could you imagine how many snipers they had to have? Oh my! Uh, sharpshooters on all those buildings going down the river. Uh, everybody in France must have been recruited. Oh, and and absolutely. the surrounding countries. <laughs> You know, they're right. probably bringing in mercenary snipers. You yeah, know? right. Like, just say, here, here's here, your gig for a building. couple of weeks. Yeah. Right. Because that is a huge amount of area to oh, secure. Yeah. It wasn't just, you know, whatever, four buildings, a podium. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was, that was, wow. I hadn't even thought about that until you brought it up, but oh my gosh, what a, what a police force they had to put together. Yeah. Just Whoa. for that, just for that one night. Mm-hmm. Oh, golly. The gold medals. Oh, okay. okay. I think I know. I read about that. You explain it. I think it's so well, cool. They showed how they made the gold mm-hmm. medals that were just gorgeous. They were, of course, they were Paris. beautiful. I mean, they were made in France, and all the artisan work going into them, and then they packaged them in the Louis Vuitton little yeah, boxes. What a touch! How appropriate. Yeah. Oh, now you know what they're made of, though, right? Thought, okay, so that oh, this is part oh, okay. I guess I can contribute. Yes. Um, each medal contains part of the Eiffel Tower. When they were doing renovation recently, okay, uh, they were replacing some of the structure. And so they would take that metal, they took the metal that they took out of the Eiffel Tower, and they incorporated them into each and every metal. Oh, that's super yeah. cool. Remember how they were showing the process of how they yeah. were being made? Well, mm-hmm. that's part of it. Whoa. Isn't that... That is what so... What a touch. Uh, I mean, details. Mm-hmm. The details of this are incredible. Yep. I am very impressed with the way the French have turned it out. And whoever's on their creative team Ugh. went you know, bonkers. <laughs> I kept thinking, how is Los Angeles going to top this? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to enjoy this. Right. <laughs> Los Angeles has It'll a long way to go. be some weird techno thing with a bunch of AIs running around. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh. Does that descend into the right. hell yet? We don't, don't want to give you any... <laughs> Any ideas out there? Yeah. Uh, the next part that I thought was so cool was the rock band, the heavy metal rock band embedded into the building. Oh, yeah. With the Marie Antoinette heads mm-hmm. cut off. In, remember? I it, do kind of remember. In the laps of the, the, the head was cut off and it was kind of positioned in their stomach area. Of, it was a bit macabre, but yeah. Yes. And then I noticed the guitar players were all strapped in. To the building. They they had harnesses. Oh, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. uh, one would hope. Well, yeah. That was so... And there was the opera singer going down mm-hmm. right in front of the heavy metal. Oh, that, that whole opera thing singer. was just... Oh, my God. That I could have just watched that. Mm-hmm. And I would have been, like, happy. Towards the end of her song, when she was alone on top of that building. Mm-hmm. And she's singing. Oh. We all... All of us who were watching together, we got chills. And we just finally... We just shut up <laughs> because we were all like mesmerized, jibber, jabber, jabber. Yeah. and just wow, that was a moment, you know. I have to say, Lisa went to a watch party. I watched it by myself, so she had a lot going on. I was I like alone going down taking my throat. notes, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> a lot of liquid. No, but it, it it's fun because you see things differently. Yeah, you do. Yeah, but I did notice that because her voice was glorious. People seem to be worried about the athletes. How are they going to see this? Because they're not going into a stadium. There was big screens all the way down the river, and you could see it as you're going down the river. So I think that they didn't really miss out. Oh, wow. So they got to, there were wide there was, screens oh, yeah. everywhere? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. So if you went there as a spectator, you could see other things going on. They thought of everything. Oh, I, I, I think they did. Oh, my gosh. Oh, how my much gosh. money they spent. Oh, I hope they get well, it back in exposure, like with people with tourism. Nicola was saying that it's a lost leader, no matter what the city ends up losing money. Oh, that's right. On she the did say that. And I'm like, really? But just think of how much they put into this performance. Mm-hmm. Oh, the train that came through the glass window. Oh, that. What the what? I I was like, <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah. When the torch bearer was there, yeah. the torch carrier or yeah. whatever. It looks like the train is in a painting, and Mm -hmm. then it comes right through. Yeah, that was cool. And leads into a hot air balloon 
And then it's the submarine <laughs> with the minions. Yes, that's right. I love that part. Oh, that's right. That was so oh my clever. Oh, gosh. That was so cool. Oh, my gosh. I see you're bringing this stuff up, and now I'm remembering. But on my own, I would pro- I'm just sort of floundering. But now that you're refreshing my memory, the minions, that, that part was that really was cute. so cute. Yeah. Well, those minions, I think, are global. So uh, people can relate to that anywhere. Yeah. Okay, did you recognize the rapper? No, he was. I but think he I was, wouldn't. I don't really follow I, rap. Well, I didn't. I didn't know who he was. I think he was a French rapper. He was rapping in French. That did nothing for me. I, it must have done nothing for me because you don't remember. It. Done a thing for me because I don't remember anything. I don't remember that. It was so subdued compared to everything else that else that was going on when it was his time to come. Oh right, he was, he was wearing a magenta of, jacket. Um, yeah, I, it was kind of like just a little kind of a sideline act. That, yeah, I think I went for a refresh on my drink when he okay. came on because I just was not it, yeah. interested. That part was, yeah. Eh. Uh, the red carpet fashion show over one of the bridges. Mm. They emulated Fashion Paris Week, and one guy, a man, was wearing ballet um, toe shoes, mm-hmm. and he walked the whole thing on his toes in oh. black ballet slippers. I'm like, oh my God. Toe shoes are so painful anyway. So that's how he pranced down. But it was, you know, flamboyant fashion. It was Paris Fashion Week. And I just think they did a great job on that. Is this the one where they were simulating the Last Supper? No, because you know what? I didn't see that one. Okay. Yeah. There's quite an uproar about that. Okay. Do you, can, why don't you fill me in? Because well, I, didn't I just see... know that there's an uproar about it. I I don't know that I remember... Seeing that in its entirety, I remember being a little confused, like, what's going on here? It was a bunch of, um, uh, what do you, I forget what you call them, cross-dressers? I don't know, what do you mm. call it? What, what's, what's the oh, trans. current term? Trans, yeah, mm-hmm. like, tr- and yeah. they were simulating in, the Last Supper or something like that. In today's world. Yeah, it just seemed like a strange choice given the tumult that is ongoing Oh. in the world. But you know what? That's Europe, and they have a different way of looking at things mm-hmm. and are just more open right. to everything. And so it just, I think the controversy is here in the U.S. because there's been such an uproar about that. I don't care. If people want to dress like that and they want to entertain, have at it. It does not right. bother me. But I remember seeing a little blurb when I was going through my news real quick this morning about some people were in a had their panties in a twist about it. Oh. So anyway, okay. you know what? The, that happens a lot. Par- that's parodied a lot. It's been on The Simpsons. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. SNL. I mean, I can't think of. There are a lot of that's that whole that scene that Last Supper scene mm-hmm. has been parodied quite a bit. So I guess this is just the one people decide to get up in an uproar about because of the cross dressing. Mm-hmm. So anyway, let's move on. Well, I'll have to check yeah. that out. Uh, the last time it rained during the open ceremonies in the Olympics was 1952, 80 years ago, well, in Helsinki. Because huh. you know how they throw stats out there? Sure. They're like, oh, it's raining now. Yeah. And that's that That was kind of interesting just to know that. It was. And boy, it was pouring. I know. Oh, golly. But yeah. you know what? People were so jubilant mm-hmm. that it was almost as if it didn't matter. Right. No, I would probably say, I don't care if I'm wet. Yeah. I'm here. I want to see the show. Yeah. Yeah. But sometimes it was really coming down. <laughs> uh, one other fact that I thought was interesting, Papua New Guinea. Is that how you pronounce Papua it? Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. And I know yeah. Tom's cousin studied there on study abroad in college. I was wow. Like, what? They have 839 indigenous languages. Yeah, they said that last night. Wait, That's why in, I wrote in it. In a down. small country like Papua New Guinea, That's why I wrote 839 it down. indigenous languages. Mm-hmm. I thought, my God, how's who's going to understand what anybody's talking about? But they I, that's why I wrote it down because I was like, oh, that's crazy. That's, that bears yeah. further research. That's crazy. Right. That's crazy. I was. It's like, almost Whoa. like this block <laughs> speaks this. Right. This block <laughs> speaks this. Uh, so kind of like that's where I, I left off. Mm-hmm. If you remember anything from the end, I'm gonna watch. Like I don't know if ins- I saw the end. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the rest of it. Yeah, when I can, but um. All I can say is it was the most entertaining uh-huh. opening ceremonies in history. I don't think you're going to get an argument from anybody no. on that. Because no. I know the people I was with, they're all creatives oh, anyway, yeah. and they were all blown away. We just couldn't believe what we were seeing. No, 
I, I couldn't believe it and either. And executed, at least from what we saw, mm-hmm. flawlessly. Right. And live. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did they even rehearse some of these things? I mean, maybe some. I mean, they had to. They oh, they had, had to. to have. Right. Like in the middle of a busy city right. on a Tuesday afternoon or whenever. They had to close streets. They had to set up props. Yeah, when we were there in May, we didn't see any of that kind of thing going on. There was all we saw were some of those bleachers that were set up probably right. for the break dancing. Right. And right. I mean, you know. And and that was like, you're probably like, okay, they're going to set up some bleachers here. They're going to set up some bleachers right. there. And then you watch this and you go, <laughs> oh my God. Like, what was going on behind the scenes? I don't know if NBC offers a replay of something like this. Oh, it, I've never heard yeah. of that, but maybe boy. they'll do like a how it was made. Oh, that would be cool. A behind the scenes about yeah. that would be so do, fascinating. Do it. How it was made behind the scenes. Yeah. And maybe if Steven Spielberg was behind us, he might have thought of that. Because it's a once in a lifetime kind of oh, amazing production for him. Right. If he is in fact attached to that, it had his fingerprints all over it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The, I saw like a little touch of. Not E.T., but like when he, well, maybe, but it, it had nothing to do with E.T., but like some magical things that he does in his movies. And I always think of him as one of the first animators to do way out there mm-hmm. in, in in his movie making from day one. Uh, creative flights of fancy. Like, God, you're really. Good with words. Well, I just, <laughs> he but I mean, so good. that's what I it, can't top that. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what. I think he does, mm-hmm. and, and he and he does go out there with them, right? And that's why we love all this stuff so much. Oh, no. oh my gosh! Well, so, hey, go Team USA! They're, they've been underway for a few days now. We'll have to see what's going on with the medal count. Mm-hmm. Have a medal count and uh, get back to you with some follow up. Yeah, we're recording this on a Saturday afternoon, the day after the opening ceremony. So, uh, what I saw right before you got here. It, Showed America with five. We already have five medals. Gold medals, yeah. Wow. We were, we were tied with Australia, actually. Oh, they had five. We had five. Okay. Uh, and I don't remember what else. I hope China and Russia. Yeah. Well, is I thought someone said Russia wasn't even there. Oh, really? I I swear to God, someone at the party last night said Russia wasn't even there. Oh, we'll have to we'll have to look that up. That they were banned because of doping from last That's time. Right. Yeah. And well. and they are the prime suspect in that arson of the train lines on opening day. I didn't know about the train lines mm. on opening day. Gosh, there's so much news out there, I can't even well, keep up. who can? Right. You got to filter, otherwise you're going to go, go insane. So anyway, there's lots. And, I, you know, we'll do an update. We'll, we'll get together next week, mm-hmm. and maybe we can talk all about that a little bit more with all of our other, wait, what did she call it? Bits and Bobs? What, what, Bips what, and Bobs. Yeah, your, your friend that. from Australia yes. who will play that. Very interesting. And by the yeah. way, speaking of, Holly and I interviewed this morning a woman who should have been there for women's cycling, but mm-hmm. for whatever political, you know, reason, she did not get included on the team because she had all the right stuff. Mm-hmm. And we interviewed, we got the chance to talk to her and yeah. get some good inside skinny. And she's a delight. And she made some comment about, like, I, we would say this and that. Mm-hmm. Her, her, what was it? Bits and bobs? I think it was bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. <laughs> and like, I just oh, tickled so me. Cute. I know. She's darling. So look forward okay. to that interview coming up. Uh, to drop from Ladies Who Question. Not sure when, probably sometime. Next couple weeks. Late next, yeah, next couple yeah. weeks. Okay. All right. That's, that's it for me. That's it for me too. Okay. Over and out. Listen to us. Um, follow us on Instagram. Rate us. Review us. Send us an email at ladieswhoquestion at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram. We want your participation. And also subscribe to the podcast. That would really help. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a okay. lot. And uh, I sign off with an au revoir. Au revoir. Good job. Okay. (laughs) Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Harvey. Ladies Who Question is executive produced and edited by me, Lisa Dominique, and also executive produced by Holly Caulfield. Holly also does most of our research, and Claire Caulfield is in charge of technical assistance and social media. Music, My Lionheart. Sketch music by Florian Manx and Matthew Anderson. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe, follow, rate, and review Ladies Who Question on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Send your thoughts to ladieswhoquestion at gmail.com. 
Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Threads, and our website, ladieswhoquestion.com. All content discussed on Ladies Who Question are the opinions of Lisa Dominique and Holly Caulfield and should not be construed as advice of any kind. By listening to this podcast, you agree not to use this podcast as advice of any personal or medical issue for yourself or others. This disclaimer also applies to guests or contributors to the podcast.